you guys are welcome back to my channel how are you doing i hope you guys are doing okay all right so um we're still on still real housewives of lagos episode 10 yeah the latest episode that was really so this portion is where we'll see tiana and the family you know she was preparing for the fashion show you remember i think it was in episode um nine right i think it was nine when she went to see was it nine or eight it was eight when she went to check out Hermes of Big Brothers level up, they were practicing this choreography, you know, this jiggy 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 jiggy, turning around dance. <laughs> I don't know the, the right word for it. So they were going to, they were supposed to do it on the fashion show. So the, the exhibition is what she was getting ready for. She had this photo shoot with Oninye. You already heard that said the husband was going to work one day and saw so Oninye and noticed her eyes and that is what how they yeah they picked her up and since then she's she was on tiwa savage um video music video and also they had this photo shoot and um mr shegu Welt, the max man Tiana's husband is always that's his brand you know him whenever you see him he's on max so i don't even know his wedding day self was even wearing max i think so i don't even think we got to see his face that day i can't remember anyway but i remember the wedding day tenor was wearing black that day i think uh -huh. so um that's by the way so um choma choma and this guy dynamics this guy says he went to law school remember i'm just i've just seen episode seven eight nine ten then one right so i'm trying to get at what point this guy met Choma and told her you know i know you before we went to the same law school because in the previous episode that's where i saw him first he brought something like a brochure they used and was showing Choma this is myself here this is you and Choma's like ah oh, kiki kaka i didn't know we didn't know you then me, 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 me. so <laughs> just just disregard my 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 gimmicks so and he, he comes, Choma is asking that straight question, do you, why don't you have a girlfriend or do you have a girlfriend? Somebody is coming to, you know, I'm still wondering this guy, did did um the, the production team go to meet this guy and say this is the role you're going to play? Or is he part of Choma's life that they want to show us? So honestly, I don't know if this is real or is it just um, a facade? That's why I should say. I don't know because of the show. But Choma asking that question, they cut off the part where he said if he had a girlfriend or not. So it's gone, 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 gone. Well, they had a horse ride and um we get to see Laura KG and the husband. Laura, Laura, Laura is fine, sure. Yeah? With her veil. She said she will be wearing her veil throughout till throughout is it the till her wedding is done. She's 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 planning to have a white wedding. So someone was asking if she thought Laura was married and already wedded. So she did a traditional marriage. Yeah, in Imo State. So she hasn't done her white wedding. So she's planning to do her white wedding. Unless you're confusing with Sandra Cage that had how many bridesmaids then? I think 200 bridesmaids is her sister, her elder sister. So Laura is getting married like... She's been married. She's let's say she's having her white wedding. I think is the appropriate word. And they were talking about how her gown is in and not um, ready to show the husband. There's supposed to be a bad luck if the husband sees the wedding gown. I say okay, no problem. Yabo is still trending on social media. I'm on this show is doing more harm than good to Yabo, to me. That's what I have to say. Because a lot of people who fans she has um you know a mass who are on their on her side, they just might have seen her true colour and everybody's calling her out. You go to Twitter, that post that that thing she said in the last video I made where she's talking about is the production team cutting and joining. Ah, you see the way they are dragging her like I passed my neighbor generator, but is there any time Nigerians don't drag people anyways? And like I said, production didn't tell you what to say if they told you what to say then it's scripted like we are saying but they say it's not scripted now you're blaming production 
just like Fina did during Big Brother. That one is obvious. They just showed where she's attacking Chichi, not say showing where what Chichi did to her, and it's it's painful. In as much as we know, yeah, but the one production showed us even the one she she was not in her good behavior. But when you cut and join so much, you put only someone's response without putting the question. It seems like somebody comes for somebody unprovoked because that one is not good but then again we can't change the fact that these people are doing this show to sell so they need a controversial or whatever even this post here about me itself they go there one side they, that's what they want to get you to help the show remember this is the second season and people are beginning to pick interest little by little so I believe this is what production is looking for, regardless of whatever your boy is saying. But to me, she has to look inwards, right? Everything is now about Abi Bogobi's girls. I'm this and that. I'm bigger than you. I'm a queen. This one, you have to double it under me. Who are you? She takes us. She still, you know, she sees herself to be in a very upper, upper, upper HLM that people cannot reach. Then when you come, you need to come and, you know. But I don't know, it's just all shades of wrong. Yeah, it's all she because it shows in the way she relates to people, talks to people. Then talking about Laura wanting to have a gang, even toasting to Pepper them gang that scattered. You know, what we want a show, she's giving out a show. That's anything I'll say. Because when we complain now, nah, she hibernates, we'll be saying this show is dry. Nobody's giving drama. And I see people say there is positive drama. Maybe, maybe there is positive drama, right? I want I want a detailed explanation of what a positive drama is. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna end this video here so it doesn't become over a little long. Um, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to give it this video a thumbs up, giant one, like and share so other people can also find the video. See you guys in my next video, which is going to be just after this. Bye.